Hot air ballooning is a blissful pastime, even a visceral experience. It's down to balloon racing. These are Australia's best pilots, and in some cases, world well, champions. have been killed after a hot air balloon exploded near the ancient Egyptian city of Luxor. You would think, after the incident in Egypt, uh, that business would drop off, that reservations would drop off for a while until it's out of the news and it's forgotten about. But they say it really doesn't. It's the final day of competition. We've come up to get a bird's eye view of what's happening. In the lead is Paul Gibbs. He's got a comfortable lead. Second is Sean Kavanagh. And third, having fought for it yesterday, is Matthew Skate. <laughs> Blue, your numbers are fine. What? Look out! Good thing you're. Good! Off white! High fold door direct, rectify door video one. Make sure the rubber seal is cut from the flipped door so that the hinge can be fixed flush with the frame. In the early 90s, Finnish researcher Dr. Perjo Matilla discovered vitamin D2 in wild mushrooms. A 2009 University of Western Sydney study proved mushrooms exposed to ultraviolet light can efficiently create and retain vitamin D2. Mushrooms are grown indoors uh, so we can control the environment and ensure that we have mushrooms all year round. Uh, because of that, they don't see sunlight. So what we're doing here is putting it through a machine that gives it three quick bursts of vitamin D of uh, UV light. Mushrooms are the only non-animal food containing orgestrol. This means just three mushrooms exposed to UV light for only a second can produce the required daily intake of vitamin D. Commercialisation of the enriched mushrooms is in full swing across Australia, with labelled packages hitting the shelves late last year. And we thought, wow, that would make a great boardwalk. So we've um, we came up with the concept of, of putting a boardwalk on top of the trucks. It's heartbreaking, be uh, you know, only because I think the city, there's a lot of proposals, the great innovative things that the city could do and I think there's just a lack of vision there. As long as we have politicians that, you know, control our public environment, I don't think we're going to get amazingness, you know. Uh, and I, and that's what, that was the more, most disappointing thing, that a, a great idea went begging. And anywhere else in the world I can tell you that that idea, and it, and it got worldwide coverage and every country in the world interviewed me and did a, did, did, uh, you know, did a blog on it, and, 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 but Australia said no. So. Uh, no, I was thinking about chatting myself to a pillow, you know, take me, not the trees. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, you know, you've got to let things go, I think, you know. Um, unlike our Lord Mayor and other politicians, I don't hold baggage and grudges. I let, let it go and move on to the next idea, which I'm sure will come soon.